Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. This is Rami and welcome to Rami Auto. In today's video, I'm doing a demonstration uh, of the Tesla FSD, the full self-driving autopilot uh, here in Europe and particularly in Ireland. Um, and to see if it's really worth paying 7,200 euro to get the full self-driving um experience uh, on the package in sold on your tesla here i'm driving a tesla model 3 standard range rear wheel drive uh, it is a 2020 model um, and this car actually is not mine it's uh, on loan from tesla uh, while my car is being serviced and uh, i'm heading to the service center in dublin to uh, pick it up um, on the journey so I'm, I'm here gonna be mixing uh, uh, some motorway driving some uh, city driving as well to show you on motorway the navigate on motorway and how it uh, behaves and also how it handles uh, city driving and see um, how it handles the uh, traffic lights uh, and uh, stop signs and um, uh taking turns uh extra here i'm approaching the motorway uh i'll be uh, going through two roundabouts as you can see on the navigation um uh, and the autopilot is already enabled as you can uh, see from that uh, rainbow lines uh, under the car um if you have a look now boom First of all, it doesn't um, navigate through um, uh, roundabouts. Uh, you have to take over. Uh, here is another um, uh, demonstration. I enabled it again. Once I'm into the roundabout, it will uh, show this red warning and asks me to take over. Okay, now I'm on the um, motorway, I uh, engage the autopilot and uh, here it already uh, suggested me to um, change the lane, uh, so I, I move from uh, a slower lane to a faster lane. And to do that you just, uh, 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 to confirm the action, you need to uh, turn on the signal to, to the right uh, and then it will uh, do the auto lane change uh, automatically and of course um, you have to keep your hands on the wheel during the whole journey um, it, it doesn't allow you to leave the steering wheel at all and uh, if you do so it will keep warning you to um, put your hands back on the wheel the way it, it determines if your wheel or if your hands are on the wheel or not is by uh, measuring if there are resistance uh, from your hands um, you know some other cars like um, Toyota they use capacitive like they, they, they sense the steering wheel sense if someone has his hands on it or, or not uh, but with Tesla you can hold the steering wheel from anywhere uh, but just you need to um, hold it, hold it tight to, to allow the car to feel the resistance uh, when it makes turns okay to show you that uh, look at the screen it asks me to apply slight turning force uh, and uh, uh, if I didn't uh, acknowledge the message and uh, applied some force on the steering wheel the warning will keep uh, turn from uh, blue to red uh, and then it will disengage I'm not gonna do this uh, on this uh, demo but uh, here you go and uh, this is another uh, it for some reason suggested to, to take the left turn asking me to do that again uh, for no reason really um, my exit still uh, far ahead but I just cancelled it. When it suggested to take the left turn, uh, or sorry, uh, to change the lane to, to, to the left lane, uh, it, uh, it will just uh, open the, the camera uh, to show you um, 
uh, your uh, uh, surrounding um, and then if you want to take the suggestion you do the signal uh, to the left or to the right depending on the direction it suggests and, in, and it will make the lane change automatically here again it uh, suggests me to, to change the lane but for some reason it just uh, did it once you see uh, it kind of hesitant to offer me the lane change suggestion but it will just keep me on that lane because well I'm, I'm on the speed limit already so I'm not going slow if your speed falls um, back I'm not sure the percentage but if you're on a slow lane and uh, uh, the computer sees that you're uh, f there's a faster lane um, the right one especially here because in Ireland we drive on the left so the fast lane is on the right um, it will offer me to change the lane it doesn't offer you to change the lane for a faster lane if it's on the left hand side unless you are taking an exit okay here uh, the speed was um, reduced uh, to 90 ish so it offered me to move to the faster lane on the right uh, and I confirm it by um, signaling right and then it changed the lane automatically all right fasting forward a little bit I'm approaching my exit It didn't suggest me to, to take left uh, uh, to take the left lane, but I did that myself because I was getting really close and uh, the traffic is a little bit heavy here. Okay, it didn't navigate this, didn't understand this um, split in the in the lanes, so I I took over uh, to, to drive through this. Um, this exit it's a little bit complex because each lane splits into two lanes and then each two lanes uh, goes to different direction here fast forwarding a little bit uh, uh, on the last piece of the motorway as you can see on the screen it showed me uh, upcoming lane change uh, make sure I don't miss my exit so once I see a suitable gap I will change the lane okay now I confirm it with the left signal and lane changes automatically and here about uh, 500 meters to my exit now into the exit ramp and on the screen there it uh, shows that uh, I need to uh, take over in a few meters um, as the navigation ends here is a demonstration of the Tesla autopilot uh, when dealing with the traffic light um, so now the traffic light is green for going uh, forward uh, but I'm turning right here um, showing red now it's green I have to confirm by pressing the uh, drive uh, select gear to allow it to move however um, the car won't actually make the turn so if I'm going straight 
it will keep going but in this case I have to uh, disengage the autopilot to take the turn now after completing the turn I can engage it again so it will continue auto steering saying stopping for red light uh, in uh, 75 meters approaching it saw a bit of steering so it was slowing down and it will stop at the red light um, I didn't do anything When the traffic light goes green, well, I'm in a spot that didn't see it, um, but uh, I had to confirm using the stalk. Okay, let's see how it's gonna navigate this. Okay, good. Just to slow down a little. Uh, re-engage it again or at the stop light uh, thread at the moment let's see when it turns green had to confirm to allow the car to move turn and left here had to disengage it to make the turn okay re-engage again it is a green light but I have to confirm that it's green to allow the car to keep going by either uh, pushing down the uh, gear select once or press the accelerator pedal uh, gently again one stop but I allowed it to keep going I'm taking the left turn here have to disengage make the turn and then keep going Reengaging. So you see, like, first of all, it doesn't, it doesn't drive the car itself at all. It's interactive. You have to constantly giving it inputs uh, to take an action, which really defeats the purpose of. Autopilot. It's an EV9, just passed by. Looks beautiful, but very bulky. <laughs> I'm 
almost there to at the Tesla center in Dublin to pick up my car. And here we are. See some uh, Tesla Highland. Let's do the auto park.